Hi everyone, this is Dr. Josh Phillips. Uh, this is CAS 101N, Introduction to Human Communication for Summer 2022 at Penn State Brandywine. Uh, this short five minute video is just gonna give you an introduction to the course, how to operate the course. Uh, it is all web-based, so once we get through this five minute video, the rest of the class uh, from now until mid-August is mostly you on your own navigating um, and I'll sort of uh, just be available um, through phone and email if you have any questions. Uh, so let's sort of briefly go over the syllabus. The syllabus is posted online. I'm going to show you how to get to all that stuff. Uh, we're going to go over some of the core uh, items that will be involved in this class. Uh, but for the most part, hopefully uh, you play around on Canvas a little bit, figure out how the class works um, so that you'll be ready to go on June 29th. All right. So again, my name is Dr. Josh Phillips. I am Penn State Brandywine based. If you are not a Brandywine student, um, welcome. Uh, my office hours are just sort of every day, normal Monday through Friday, nine to five uh, through phone. Uh, you can, you know, call me, FaceTime me, um, whatever's easiest. You are welcome to text me. If the question is going to be a long text, um, just I'd rather just have you call me so we don't have to text back and forth for 20 minutes to solve a two minute phone conversation. Um, I do have other classes I'm teaching this summer. I do have other obligations. Uh, so if you call me and I don't answer, um, leave a message, I'll get back to you, uh, you know, or text me and set up a time to talk uh, about the coursework. All right. Um, everything on this uh, for this class is through Canvas, uh, which you all are very familiar with. All right. Uh, the first thing I want to make sure that we are very clear on is in Canvas, Everything that is really, really important is going to be under files. So there's this tab in Canvas along the left hand side. Um, files, grades to check your grades, as well as assignments. Those are the only three tabs that you need to worry about. All right. Um, but files is where we'll have our daily folder for what's going to be expected of you that day. All right. Um, uh, there are three books that you absolutely need to have. Uh, that you need to purchase on your own. You can find them online for less than $10 a book. Um, the first is the Meditations of Marcus Aurelius. This is the Gregory Hayes translation. This is the one I highly recommend. It, this is the cover. So when you're looking up the books on Amazon or whatever, um, this is the one that you want to get. Um, Dostoevsky's Notes from Underground. This is the Penguin version. Uh, this version has Notes from Underground as well as the double. So they're two short, shorter stories. Um, about 100 pages each. Um, we're only going to read the first half of this collection, which is Notes from Underground. Uh, and then The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. All right. Um, if you get the Penguin classes, this is obviously translated from Russian. Um, Hemingway is already in English. There's no extra translation of it. Uh, so make sure that you get these three books, these three books you need to purchase. There also will be several articles. I will post all of those on Canvas for you. You don't have to hunt them down. So things like Plato's Apology, the U.S. Constitution, uh, there's a speech by Frederick Douglass we're going to read. All of these are available under files, and there's going to be a folder that says additional readings. Under that additional readings folder, that's where everything is going to be uh, with regard to, I believe there's about six or seven additional shorter readings, speeches um, that you'll read and you'll respond to. All right. Uh, no late work. Um, I'll explain the late work situation here in a second. Um, and uh, accommodations. If you have any sort of um, accommodate, you, you need some sort of accommodation, you have some sort of disability, just get a hold of me as soon as possible and make sure that everything is in order. Um, if you feel like you are falling behind uh, and you need a little extra help, just get a hold of me before things um, are due uh, so we can make sure that we don't have any late work. All right. Uh, and then finally, just don't plagiarize. Uh, I've taught this class several times. It's been online several times. Every time you turn in an assignment online, it goes through uh, the sort of turnitin.com process. So I just kind of run it through the system. Uh, and if there's any things that has, that is repetitive, which means a student I used to have, you know, turned in the same paper, it's going to flag it and turn the whole paper red and let me know. All right. Uh, so just do your own work. Um, there you have it. All right. So as far as the way the class is going to be structured, right? This is a web-based class. You can create your own timeline, but for the sake of the syllabus, I've sort of broken it down for you uh, to help make it more manageable. This is more of like, this is a good idea to sort of stay on track and keep pace with the assignments. Um, you're welcome to sort of, you know, just plow through everything on Monday night if you want an entire week's worth of material. It's going to take you a couple of hours, um, or you can kind of break it into smaller chunks throughout the week. Either way, 
um, assignments for the week are all due Friday at 10 p.m. All right. So let's look at this. All right. So I have it set up as sort of like a Monday through Thursday type of schedule. And again, it's a web based class. You choose your own pace. Um, but if you want to kind of break it down into manageable chunks, this is what I highly recommend. All right. Every Monday through Thursday, you need to check the Canvas folder for the day. So if we look over here under files, right, each day, right, there's a little folder. So day one, June 29th, which is Wednesday. This is when class starts. You can open up this June 29th folder and it's going to have a Word document in there and it's going to and I'm going to type it out and explain, OK, here's the YouTube lecture you need to go and watch. Here are the assignments that are going to be due for this discussion on Friday by 10 p.m. I'm just going to sort of explain what we're doing that day and then there's going to be some sort of link to a YouTube lecture um, on that topic. Uh, again, all assignments are due Friday by 10 p.m. Um, when you upload your assignments, uh, make sure that they are in a Word or a PDF format. Sometimes students send things like Google Doc links or, you know, weird, uh, I don't know, like notes, um, just different versions of format. They don't all work on every device. A Microsoft Word document or a PDF document opens up every time. I've never had a pro problem with it. So make sure when you submit your work, it's either in a Microsoft Word document or a PDF document. Um, incomplete work uh, is going to receive a zero. What this essentially means is that if I ask for a two to three page paper, at least two full pages of text, um, don't give me one and a half pages of text and turn it in at 930 on a Friday. I'm not going to grade. I'm not going to grade it. We're adults. Um, I'm a, I only grade, I only grade uh, completed work. So just turn in your work, make sure it's complete. Uh, your grades will be posted weekly, so I'll get everybody's assignment Friday, hopefully by like the following Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. Um, the, you know, right now we have 15 people enrolled. We could have up to 20 enrolled, plus I do have other classes. Hopefully by Tuesday or Wednesday of the following week, everything will sort of be uploaded uh, with regard to what your grade is. Uh, here is a list of all the assignments. It is a lot, but again, you know, it's a six week class, so it's about 16 assignments um, crammed into six weeks. Every week you have about two things due. It's, I, I've taken away the final paper. Um, the, the response papers are only two to three pages. A lot of this stuff is handouts for the reading, so as you are reading the books, uh, make sure that you are doing the handouts as well. Um, the one thing that you do need to be aware of as far as uh, time management, um, that, that's going to require you and me to coordinate a time is on Thursday, July 28th, you are going to be giving individual presentations through a, a video call with me. Uh, these presentations are five minutes long. Um, we'll go over them later in the semester. Uh, but on July 28th, you need to figure out if you are free that day. We will schedule a five minute time for you to FaceTime me or come into my Zoom room um, and then we'll give the presentation on that day. Uh, if that's going to be a problem, get a hold of me right now email me um, and we'll work it out but there is going to be an individual presentation component in this class um, that we need to be able to meet all right uh, and then finally your final exam will be due on friday august 12th at 10 p.m this is the last day of classes uh, there's only one exam in this class because it's an online class so it's going to be a big comprehensive exam it's worth 150 points um, so just make sure you give yourself enough time for it i'm going to email it out two days early uh, so you're going to have this, you're going to have this on the 10th, you're going to have two days to complete it. But the big thing is, is it's going to cover everything from day one. So if you're not keeping up with the lectures, um, it's going to be impossible for you to watch, you know, 15 YouTube lectures that are 45 minutes to an hour each. It's going to be impossible for you to watch all those and try to figure out what material uh, you need to study for the test. So just keep up with the YouTube lectures on a day to day basis um, and you'll be OK. This is what a typical week looks like. This is out of the syllabus. This is straight out of your syllabus. Um, so this is for the second week of class, right? So July 4th, there's no class that day. Um, but on July 5th, right, the R means that you need to read that um, and read Plato's Apology. Um, and you'll also, uh, there will also be a YouTube link in there that will lead you to a lecture that I, that I give on the subject, right? So if you read Plato's Apology that day, watch the 45 minute lecture of me, uh, discussing Plato's Apology, you'll sort of be set for the materials for that day. All right. Uh, and then on the sixth, similar thing, read the U.S. Constitution. I'll send you a link to the U.S. Constitution lecture. Uh, and then um, all minus one, you'll read this packet. Um, I will send you a lecture for that. All right. So that's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Right. And then everything is due 
Friday by 10 p.m. as far as your assignment. So with Plato's Apology, in that Plato's Apology folder for the 5th, so July 5th, this little July 5th folder, there'll be a link to Plato's Apology lecture, and there'll also be an explanation for, along with this material for the day, you do have a paper uh, with this material. So that paper is going to be due on Friday. With all minus one on July 7th, there'll be a July 7th folder. In that folder, there will be a link to the all minus one lecture. Um, and it'll also say, okay, there's also a handout that you'll fill out as you read through the all minus one um, materials. It's about a 20 page packet uh, that you kind of need to read through. All right, uh, so there'll be a handout due that day. Um, so again, you can sort of do all of your assignments on Friday if you want. I don't recommend it. Um, I kind of space this stuff out. So you do have two or three assignments due every Friday, but if you just kind of keep up with them, um, when you know you watch the video and then you write the paper, then you know Plato's Apology is done on Tuesday. And then you can kind of move on to the stuff with the Constitution and the all minus one handout. Um, there's a Constitution paper that's due the following week. All right, um, so that's sort of how the class breaks down. That's the sort of rhythm and pace of the class. The big thing is, is just every Monday, through Thursday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, um, I would just, you know, sometime that day, find yourself a couple of hours to come into class, come onto Canvas, open up the folder for that day, and I will have an explanation for what YouTube lectures you need to watch, um, what assignments sort of correspond with those lectures, um, and then you can kind of just keep pace with regard to when things are due uh, on Friday at 10 o'clock, all right? Again, if you have any questions as class moves on, Feel free to um, call me anytime. My phone number is on the syllabus. Um, I'm obviously not going to put it up on YouTube. All right. Uh, but go ahead and feel free to call me, uh, FaceTime me, shoot me a text message, and we will figure out the details. All right. Um, so that's, you know, most of the class is sort of in a nutshell. Um, hope this pace, this pace has proven to be helpful for students before we've taken a web-based class, um, as opposed to sort of just saying this stuff's due, and then all of a sudden students try to cram it all in in the last week. Um, just, you know, every day find yourself a couple of hours to engage with the material, uh, keep yourself on pace. And again, we only have one exam. That exam covers everything in class. So if you, you know, keep yourself a nice little pace, take a couple notes on the YouTube lectures, um, every class period, you'll be fine. If you try to wait until, you know, the second week of August to try to cram in all those lectures and figure out what's on the exam, um, it's going to be very, very difficult. All right. Um, so that's the pacing for the class. That's what it looks like. And um, I look forward to engaging with you um, over the summer. All right. Thanks.